So now we'll start the second part of our tutorial and uh, we'll be talking about uh, different line shape representations in Hydran. In the previous editions of Hydran, we were traditionally providing parameters uh, for calculating spectra with the employment of a void profile and uh, uh, so the half widths at half maximum, the Lorentz and half widths of half maximum uh, were uh, provided in Hydran from the measurements that employed or calculations that assumed um, void profile. Uh, of course, effectively, we were providing uh, Doppler or uh, Gaussian uh, line shape, and um, uh, because for that, uh, all you really need is just the line position, molecular mass, and the temperature at which you want to calculate uh, this parameter. And um, uh, in recent years, uh, there have been uh, a lot of uh, uh, encouragement from the users of the database that we should include new line shapes. Uh, indeed, while weight profile is very efficient, uh, it um, cannot reproduce uh, to an extreme degree of accuracy the real spectra in, uh, for instance, atmospheric applications. So uh, this table uh, is taken from the review by Tennyson et al. in Pure and Applied Chemistry, uh, which recommended that the best profile to use in atmospheric applications is the Hartmann-Tran profile, which is uh, explained in the paper by Ngoi et al. Uh, in the bottom here. And uh, this profile uh, can still allow one to calculate um, spectra with an uh, acceptable uh, speed. One of the best features of the Hartmann-Tran profile is that it can be reduced by setting certain parameters to zero to the uh, more simple profiles, which include speed-dependent Raushan, speed-dependent Voigt, Raushan, Voigt, and uh, of course uh, Gaussian or Doppler. Now, in Hytron, uh, we now provide um, the Hartmann-Tran profile and speed-dependent void profiles. Um, unfortunately, we do not have these profiles for uh, every line of every molecule, and this is mostly due to the fact that there are not enough measurements or calculations have been done yet uh, to populate the database completely, and our um, colleagues are working hard in doing that. And um, it is also worth mentioning that uh, these uh, profiles that uh, we discussed uh, do assume the um, uh, hard collisions. Uh, however, we also do provide a, a Gallatry profile, which uh, includes a narrowing uh, effect and uh, accounts for narrowing effect, but in a soft collision model. And uh, we have uh, uh, some uh, parts of a uh, few molecules that are uh, some spectral regions of few molecules where we do uh, provide Gallatry profiles. Okay. Now let me show you how we can uh, retrieve these parameters. And uh, of course, not every line in Hytran have those parameters. And uh, due to the lack of um, theoretical calculations or, or experiments, but we do have it for many uh, molecules already and for many uh, spectral ranges. And we encourage our colleagues to measure and calculate more of these parameters so we can populate the database uh, that it can serve the uh, scientific community. Uh, let me first uh, retrieve uh, the first overtone of the carbon monoxide. I'll just use uh, only one isotope, so it's easier to follow. And um, the first overtone of the carbon uh, monoxide uh, is uh, uh, roughly covering the spectral region of uh, 4150 to 4350 wave numbers. Now, um, as we explained in a previous tutorial, the default format would be this dot par format, uh, which uh, would assume to be used with a void profile. Uh, however, if you do want, uh, for instance, a speed dependent void, and we do have uh, the speed-dependent uh, weight data uh, in Hytran, we can uh, create a new output format. So we will create a new output format. To create uh, a new output uh, format with the speed-dependent weight parameters, 
um, let's uh, select um, as we did before molecule ID and isotopic ID so we do remember uh, what uh, data we're downloading uh, the wave number just for reference um, we can download the Lorentz and part of uh, Lorentz and half widths um, for the weight profile and uh, now let's select some speed dependent weight parameters and that would include Lorentz and half widths for the speed dependent weight speed dependence uh, parameter which is very important and we can also uh, select the temperature dependence of the uh, speed dependent weight half widths uh, we can also select the uh, shift uh, with the speed dependent weight profile and um, the temperature dependence uh, of the shift uh, so actually for the uh, carbon monoxide or specifically the second overtone of carbon monoxide we also have the Rosencrantz uh, line mixing uh, parameters which uh, we can also select here and um, of course all of these parameters uh, do have uncertainty codes and reference codes and here not to make too many uh, choices we can select it for a couple of parameters here there's uh, error codes and the reference codes um, we can uh, select fixed uh, width format so it will be easier to see what we selected uh, on the screen when I'll be showing it to you we can also output uh, header line and let's uh, name this uh, output format for, for instance uh, as DV tutorial now we have to save this output format uh, here's a reminder what we actually selected now let's uh, start data search in this format This is an overview of the band. Uh, of course, um, uh, you again provided the uh, BPEG file and uh, bibliography file in the HTML uh, format here, which uh, gives you uh, reference uh, only for the parameters we requested and also for the uh, parameters that we wanted the reference to be provided. Uh, so you can see that uh, these uh, parameters um, originate from uh, reference uh, uh, with a global uh, reference ID 721 uh, and um, uh, you will see how that mapping works um, uh, just uh, in a second so this is a uh, output um, uh, transition data we can download it or view in a browser so let's uh, uh, click uh, view in a browser now um, we did request the uh, li line header but um, the uh, parameters in a header do not line up uh, so you, you you have to figure it out by how they appear sequentially so again we asked for molecule ID for isotopolog ID for wave number so this is a Lorentz and half width assuming work profile this is a Lorentz and half width assuming speed dependent work profile this is a, a speed dependence and all the other parameters we requested and uh, again those uncertainty codes uh, for these parameters so specifically we asked for speed dependent uh, half widths and uh, the speed dependence itself and then 721 uh, is a global reference code which I, I showed you just a minute ago now uh, one important thing to uh, point out here is that the half widths obtained uh, experimentally using different profiles are actually different so uh, if you are using speed dependent void with speed dependence you have to make sure you're using it with uh, um, uh, half widths uh, retreat with speed dependent void and not with a uh, uh, regular half widths you may ask uh, what are all these uh, hashtags here and these hashtags uh, you you will see if we actually do not have parameter uh, for the transition uh, so then if we don't have a value it will appear as a hashtags and uh, one have to keep it in mind uh, when um, calculating the uh, cross sections or absorption uh, coefficients uh, using the hydrogen line by line data and uh, I will show you how we uh, um, take this into account when we use it with the hydrogen application programming interface you can see that uh, in HAPI, 
we can calculate both speed dependent waked and waked and uh, we can download the data uh, in different para uh, parameter groups so which are here called uh, 160 uh, character and uh, uh, SD void. Uh, so when you ask Happy to download within those groups, it downloads all the parameters that are required. And um, you can see that uh, when one calculates absorption cross sections uh, using the data, that the absorption cross sections are in fact slightly different uh, if you calculate with void or speed dependent void, and that's in fact what is observed. Uh, in a real laboratory spectra. So important thing here is that when HAPI calculates uh, uh, absorption coefficient with speed-dependent void, it looks for speed-dependent void parameters when they are available, and if they are not available, the um, program looks for regular void pro parameters and uh, it calculates their uh, spectra using that. So in fact, it's gonna be a mixture. And the same is when one uses Hartman trial profile from the Hytran database uh, and uh, uh, Hartran run is being reduced uh, to speed dependent void or void. Um, we currently do not provide other parameters in between, so we do not provide a Roush and um, profile, for instance. Um, it is uh, important uh, to point out that um, the only molecule for where we have a complete uh, listing of the Hartran run profile parameters is a hydrogen molecule. And in hydrogen, hydrogen lines uh, exhibit very strong uh, decanarrowing, strong speed dependence, and the lines are well isolated, so it's uh, easier to calculate or measure. And in fact, uh, you can see um, when you try to model laboratory spectra, if you uh, account for the parameters properly uh, with a, a hartman tran profile, and we demonstrated in this uh, FGCL ETO paper, uh, then um, you can model the hydrogen spectrum properly, whereas if you use just a void profile, it uh, um, cannot reproduce experimental measurements. So uh, let's go back to the Hytran webpage. So in the Hytran uh, webpage, we will be uh, retrieving now hydrogen parameters. In a hartman tran profile. So, uh, so just do the principal as a topolog, and uh, we can do all of, the, all of it. So now I have to select, uh, create a new output format to be able to retrieve uh, hydrogen. So we have uh, a special group, it's called HT profile parameters, and uh, because there are so many parameters associated with a hartman tran profile, we group them. Uh, so the, that way you cannot lose any parameters that uh, may be required. But uh, but again, let's uh, download the traditional uh, values. I can do gamma self because uh, we have uh, self broadened hydrogen in the HD profile. And here you have choices. So we have uh, uh, self uh, broadened hydrogen here and uh, you can select at which temperature regime you would like uh, these parameters to be retrieved. Um, indeed, the uh, temperature dependence uh, of the uh, parameters in hartman tran profile do have uh, limited uh, temperature ranges. Therefore, we uh, broke up the database in uh, uh, four different temperature regimes. But let's uh, select our traditional uh, 296. Uh, Kelvin regime and uh, by selecting this box it will retrieve all of these uh, parameters uh, below as far as uh, these uh, uh, parameters in red which are common parameters for all four temperature regimes. Uh, can done, uh, we're done, I can uh, still uh, select a couple of errors and reference codes as well as uh, uh, we can also do the fixed width format and uh, we can call it HTTP demo and so we can start a data search in this format. So let's see the output 
transition data and you can see here we don't have any hashtags because uh, as i told you we have a complete data set of these parameters for hydrogen and uh, again we do have the uh, list of uh, references so every line have this uh, global or every parameter i should say has this global reference identification so you can see where the data is coming from and uh, with this uh, we will complete uh, this tutorial thank you mm -hmm.